Hello everyone, this is Darwell 20 and welcome to episode 5 of Darwell 20's Let's Play Create Above and Beyond series. Uh, where today I have plans to make some Arboreal Extractors. Huzzah! Uh, so the Arboreal Extractor will produce resin for me. Which I can then stick in a compacting basin kind of thing. Uh, and that'll make rubber, which I can then uh, smelt or blast with some heat into some cured rubber. And that cured rubber is going to play an important role in making mechanical belts. And that'll really allow us to start doing like some actual true honest-to-goodness automation. Now here's a question. Can I put arboreal extractors like on all sides of this tree? And does that like just work? How does this work? Does it need fuel? Use fertilizer to boost production. Put down the axe. Hey, yeah, no, it doesn't need fuel. But it does need fertilizer to boost production. I think we've got a smidge of appetite that I've found underground. I'm just kind of curious to see how that works out. Um, you know, not that I've used a lot. Now, I don't know if appetite by itself will work or if we need, like, actual phytogrow uh, with some nitor and sand. We might need that. I guess we'll find out what happens. Let's see. I think I've got some nitor as well. And we should have some sand laying around. Uh, so let's actually... Just get a stack of that and see how it works out. Yeah? Is that cool? I think that works. Should work. All right, cool. And then I'll put the rest of this stuff uh, back in here. Just trying to keep my inventory slightly organized. You know. Okay. So he's at 50 now. I'm guessing they're all at 50. That's cool. And then in theory, I guess what will happen is after the next little bit of production, it'll do its thing and start consuming the phytogrow. Sweet. I guess it can have some augments too if we ever get to the point where we can make augments. <laughs> All right, cool. So that's um, resin starting. Now here's the deal. Um, while that's going, I'm going to work on some other things that I'm going to want to get going because um, we're going to need obviously a lot of a lot of stuff happening uh, i'd like to get a water wheel cooking uh, i'd like to get the strainer going um you know so the strainer base and the sediment and all that stuff uh because remember sediment strainer should be cool it'll get us some sand and some clay uh we can also use the fishing net to get you know a handful of things but eh, that should be good that's interesting oh we can cycle through all the different types of strainer okay neat so we can get that stuff from that strainer and then we can get this stuff from this strainer. Ooh, we can get diamond dust and gold dust. It doesn't show me the percent chance, but I think if you hold shift on it, it does. All right, neat. They are enchantable, I'm just saying. But anyway, we would like to get those strainers coming along. Okay, yeah, see, look, it did do the flamey thing, and now it's it did 100 resin versus the other two have 75. All right, cool. So that should get some stuff going at some point. Uh, I wouldn't mind if it could auto dump out to an adjacent tank of some kind. Um, what kind of tanks do we have? Uh, that's a really good question. Um, so we've got a fluid cell from thermal, acts as a tank, but I assume that might be a little bit tricky to get. At the very least, uh, it's going to need, you know, well, it doesn't look too bad, actually. It looks, it looks attainable. Hardened glass? Eh, not too bad, honestly. We'll see. We'll see. Uh, but there's also fluid tanks from Create, which don't look too terrible either. They just need a copper casing, which needs copper sheets and some copper nuggets. Cool. Fluid tanks can be used to store large amounts of fluids. Cool. And then we can use pipes to transfer it. I like. Isn't that the greatest? In survival mode, fluids cannot be added or taken manually. Well, that's kind of a bummer. Yeah, we might have to... We might not want to go that route, only because we can't interact with it. Which would be a bit of a bummer. Hey, ender storage? This ender tag looks different. Doesn't this look different? It really does. Huh. Huh. Well, you know what we'll probably wind up doing? What we'll probably wind up doing is just bucketing fluids from one to the other. All right, cool. That should be good. The other thing I'd really like to get into, um, so let's get the let's get a few things first. Let's get our uh, strainer base. Now, you, any fancy recipes? Not really. We could cast 
three nuggets. Really? I'm just curious about this now. If I remove you, do you turn three nuggets directly into bars? It's not a recipe I'm familiar with. But apparently, yes. Cool. That's a thing. See, that was a little bit useful. Uh, the other thing I wanted to make uh, is going to be... We're going to definitely need uh, some more of these andesite machines. Automating these would be huge. Um, you know, we'll have to see, though. Now, is this a cheaper recipe? Because it's a slab and two andesite alloy make this. Or... We could have a cog wheel. Yeah. I think I'm going to make it manually for a minute. I think that's the way to go. I think so. Uh, we're going to need more andesite alloy, though. It means we're going to need more andesite. Hopefully we have some. I might be going mining soon. We've got one andesite cobble. Yeah, I think mining's in my future. All right, lots and lots and lots of mining later, and I think I am good to go here. Perfect. So I've got uh, about three stacks of andesite cobble. All right, a little bit of crafting later, and we've got four of these bad boys. Uh, let's quick nap through the night, and then let's get ourselves... That thing we were going to get the sediment strainer which is going to uh the strainer base is u plus a bar and i'm only going to get one for now and we'll hold off on seeing if we want more we may we may not time will tell um now that we've got that cool thing crafted let's go ahead and take a look at the sediment strainers so we need three sets of these so straw comes from milling wild rice we've got a little bit more wild rice there should be more ready to be grown over here and oh look at you all these skeletons hello friends come over this way let me just lure you into the light whittle you down a bit oh and a creeper too how rude absolutely gonna work towards better Yeah, they will be down pretty quick, didn't they? <laughs> I think my leather tunic is almost gone. Oh well, life goes on. Come on. Whew, that was close. I didn't realize he was standing right there. That was a close one, folks. Alright, nice. Did you guys mess up my farm at all? No, I think we're cool. Yeah, this wild rice is a little tricky to identify when it's good, but I think we're getting there. And then we just mill that stuff, right? Boy, I can't wait until this whole thing is automated and we don't have to mill stuff by hand. It's the worst. But until I have belts, I feel like it's probably not worth, you know, doing the water wheel because I or we'd have to attach the water wheel directly to the machines and that's just not a good idea right so having belts will make you know things a lot better for us sweet we've got 19 of those now awesome okay putting away the mob drops and the rice cool all right now we should be able to get a sediment strainer times three there we go cool so I have to figure out exactly how this works I've used some form of sediment thing before um, generates items while in water requires a strainer and water on top yes So I think we just do something as simple as this and this. Now I'm trying to decide, like, no problems detected. All right, there's a bait slot and a bait pot slot. Show recipes. Now is there, like, 
something something flowing water is better? I honestly have no idea. No problems detected. I can't tell if it's better or if that's making a difference at all. I really can't. I can't tell if that's making any kind of difference. So we'll just leave it there. And that'll be semi-automated clay and sand, right? Semi-automated because, yes, the sand and clay are automated. Um, oh, sand can be refined into clay. Well, that's cool. Yeah, strainers for sand. And then we can use it to automate clay. Okay, cool. Um, we should consider this. Uh, bedrock can cause lava to form andesite infinitely. At this time, it's best to set up drills to break generated blocks between lava and water. Since bedrock is blocking the space beneath, you'll have to find a way to collect the drops from other sides. Yeah, that's going to be a little bit... That's going to be doable. But maybe once we get belts. Fair? Fair? So one of the next things I'm probably going to want to work towards is the smeltery controller. That'll give me access to Tinker's tools, which will mean hammers, hopefully. Um, now, just to be clear, if I wanted to make a hammer from Tinker's or something along those lines, would we need that better version of the, of the thing still? I forget how that works in the new version of Tinker's. Do we need the better version of the, of the table? We need the, the anvil, don't we? Yeah, the Tinker's anvil. Um, which we can use multiple kinds of, of, of blocks, but basically, yes. Now, what's interesting, is there an iron version? There is a pig iron version. There's not a regular iron. I guess bronze might be the easiest one to get if we wanted to. Electrum, Invar. Invar might also be up there in the, in the realm of easy-ish, right? Um... Because that is uh, when when mixing, we can melt. Oh, interesting. Okay, what about bronze? Huh. I'm not seeing the recipe that shows me that it can combine. I'm seeing that I can melt existing bronze, but I don't see a way to get... Interesting... Well, we're going to have to figure it out. There's probably a way. And it might be we have to look through the, the book. The chapter will tell us maybe. But we can eventually get there. Uh, but we're going to need some of that cured rubber. Speaking of which, how's my rubber coming along over here? So I assume that the fertilizer just doubles the, the processing speed. So what I might do to really speed everything up is something like that. Does that sound cool? Yeah. And we have our first bucket, which is nice. Now, I think we turned all our buckets into uh, into arboreal extractors. Not a big deal. So we're going to scoop you up. Nice. All right, cool. Now, if we wanted to make rubber, uh, we're going to need to compact... 250 millibuckets of resin. So we're going to get four rubber per bucket, right? We could also get some vines uh, and some water, or we could get some flowers and some water, which is not a bad way to go, honestly. Now, uh, we've got one of these dudes already, right? But what we are don't have is one of these guys, a basin, which is just going to be easy enough to make for me. Cool. So all I do is this, this, sweet. And we're gonna have to do that four times, right? Hello, rubber, nice. All right, while we're waiting for more rubber, I think it would make sense to set up our water wheels. So remember, three of them can go together. 
Uh, and this can help us out with some automation stuff, which should be nice. Um, from create, we're also probably going to want, let's see, uh, gearboxes, right? And vertical gearboxes. Now let's just look at how those are made. Uh, pretty standard looking. They can swap back and forth between vertical and regular. Uh, the gear shift, this is the one that lets you reverse with a redstone signal. I'm pretty sure that's accurate, right? Yeah. Sweet. So we might want some of these. That just needs a little bit of redstone dust. Not too bad. And everything else we can kind of deal with. The uh, encased chain drive. I remember these guys. Yeah. That's cool. And then also uh, the adjustable chain gear shift. This is how you can like speed things up, right? Yeah, this is how you can speed things up with a redstone signal. Cool. So I'm thinking maybe a good spot to set this up would be over here-ish. Um, we could have our first little bit of water wheeling happening here. We can relay some power over in this direction. We might wind up moving this setup. We'll see. Um, but that seemed like a good plan. Yeah, I like that. So let's see. If I started you here-ish... Does that work, or do I want that the other way? I think I want that the other way. Now, remind me, if I shift-click you, do you go the other direction? You do. Yes, that's the way I would like you to run. Cool. Okay. And I'm always bad at setting up water wheels. Can we agree on that? Can we all agree that Dyer is kind of bad at setting this up? I've never done a good job of setting up a water wheel in my life. With any mod. With any mod, I have done a poor job. Okay, boom, boom. Boom. Now, where's those goggles? Engineer's goggles just needs a golden sheet, huh? That don't look so bad. Okay. Let's see if that will prevent too much of a watery mess. Perfect. And then if we wanted to, we could probably do something like this. Okay. Now let me go get those goggles. So I'm just going to need a piece of gold and a string. That should be easy enough. Boop. Do I still have that depot on me? I do. Just swap this out real quick. Helps put the gold down first. String and glass, right? Two pieces of glass and a string. Actually, I have glass on me, so that's perfect. Now, I'm pretty sure that can go into a curio slot, yes? Ah, maybe not. Pretty sure it can. Are they not curios? Can they be turned into curios? Huh. I thought these were curios. Maybe not. Anyway, uh, that's cool. So I should be able to look at you and see 192 stress units. Nice. All right, cool. At current speed. Now, is there a way to speed that up? 256 stress units at current speed. Nice. Nice. Okay. I like that. Now, if we look at water wheels, uh, 0 to 16 RPM. Okay. Now, reportedly, because I looked into it, because it's what I do, uh, I sh should possibly be able to use bubble columns with soul sand. But we've not been to the nether yet in this series, so I think we're going to hold off on that bit. Um, and we'll just call this 
you know, good to go. Now I'm probably gonna wanna move this little setup, um, at least for now, until we get, you know, some proper things going on. All right, how's our rubber coming along? Mm, getting there, this one's almost done. I'm assuming you have another bucket's worth. Yeah, nice, coming along nicely. All right, we should be close to having a, bu a bit of water, so that'll be nice. Let's swap you back out with one of these. And uh, we should be pretty close to resin time, right? All right, how's this look? Pretty nice? I think that looks good, right? Stick it there, and then we can, you know, move these things around here, and that should be good. All right, now what I would like to do is get a little bit more rubber. So I'm going to come back once I've got enough to make a smidge more. How are we doing? Not bad, not bad. We're probably going to want more of these, maybe, at some point. We'll figure it out. But for now, it's a good start. Hey, look! Cured rubber! Nice! All right, so that means we can do this and get ourselves just a few belts uh, to help, you know, with things. So now, what we should be able to do is use the belts to make some good old dire wire. All right, let's start with the millstone, right? So the millstone needs to have a cogwheel connected to the side of it. Yeah, buddy. Um, so maybe what we want then underneath is a vertical gearbox. Does that sound cool? Yeah, that works for me. Uh, and then... Or maybe what we would want... I wouldn't mind... You know what I would like? I would like this to be relatively nice looking. We're probably going to need more of these. But that's not too bad to make, luckily. So let's do this. Let's... Hey, that's perfect. Nice. Eh, a little bit of a mess. Not terrible, mind you. So if I threw a vertical gearbox on you... Not a regular gearbox, mind you, but a vertical one. And then we ran... Something like that. And then another vertical gearbox. You know I'm not perfect with create stuff, right? I think you all know that by now. But that's part of the reason I want to play this series, is because I want to get better at it. I would like to be better at making create contraptions, and I feel like this is the way to go. Is that cool? I feel like that's pretty cool right there. So now we've got that. Sweet. All right. Cool, cool, cool. All right. Not too shabby. Um, we would also like to have our mechanical doohickey set up here. Now this guy is going to need what? What we're probably going to want to have is our mechanical press set up. Either with a basin or a depot, or we're just going to want two presses, right? Um, but the basin should probably be one of the first things we get going here. Now you should have a gearbox doing this. Perfect. So let's turn you into a vertical as well. Nope, wrong spot. Right, something like that. And then we can just run shafts into the press, yeah? And then you can shaft into maybe another press? Maybe we should get another press. That might not be a terrible idea. It's just going to be a block of iron. I can manage that. That would be you with the block of iron equals another mechanical press. Cool. And that can have the depot under it. Sweet. I like it. Okay. 
Now, in theory, they shouldn't be really using mechanical stress all that much. This guy looks like he has a little bit, and these guys will. But it looks like we're producing, what, 256-ish? Is that right? Now, is it 256 per water wheel? I believe that to be the statement. Yeah, I, I think that's accurate. So I think we should have a total of, well, whatever, right? Um, 256 times 3. So that should be cool. Is there anything else in particular I would like to get going? There's the mechanical saw, which I wouldn't mind having automated. We haven't really used the mixer much yet, but we probably will. And the fans might not be bad either, but we're going to need some belts for sure. Um, what I would like to have set up then is... Let's see here. I wouldn't mind a belt system with the deployers above it. Does that sound cool? So you can connect like that, right? I don't think I wanted to shift click those. Yeah. Now, if I if I face these the right way, they might all connect to each other. Yeah, like that. Is good. Okay. Now, if I connected, we're gonna need more of those gearboxes, aren't we? I think that is a good assessment of the situation that we're gonna find ourselves in. Definitely more gearboxes. Gearboxes are pretty cool. We're definitely going to need more of that stuff too. That should be a good start. Okay. So another vertical but facing this way. And you know what we could do? It's probably... Yeah? That might be too far, though. That might not be a smart enough move. Let's do this. Let's try to keep this compact for a bit until we get more resources, and then we can really expand and do some cooler stuff. Yeah, I like that. Sweet. Now, if we want to reverse this direction, all we have to do is gearbox it, right? Gearbox reverses direction of flow. Yes, excellent. Cool. Now, let's say I wanted to make these things with this, right? It's going to be andesite, andesite, saw, right? So what I should be able to do is put the saw in here. You and you. Now you're going to need to get some kinetic stress doohickeys. Should be doable. We're just going to have to figure out how. Um, there are many ways, obviously. I don't think that that's a good enough angle for that. It can do a 90 degree angle, but that's too steep. Like it could go to here, for example, but not to there. Um, if I pushed it back a little bit, that might be doable. You knew what was going to happen when you came to this channel. You knew what was going to happen. This should connect. Yeah, like that. See? And then we can put this guy. And that's what we're talking about. Cool? All right, let's sleep through this night. And then try this out. And while we're here, we should probably get some more of that andesite -y stuff. Um, in order to get more of that andesite -y stuff, we're going to need more of these algae bricks. So we're going to need clay and kelp. 
We're a little bit low on probably both. Probably both. Eh, we're okay, but we should definitely get more. We should definitely get more. Okay, but we should be all right to start this. Now well, I think we need eight in total here, so let's do that. And then we'll get our andesite cobble so we can get more of these guys. Okay. So with those put together, and then to really make these, what we need is a slab of some kind. We can make some slabs real fast. Let's see if this works, eh? Because this should be cool. Right? I do this, I do this, and I do this, right? Okay, with that done, if I were to drop a slab on here, ta-da! Our first assembly line, relatively fully automated. That's kind of cool. That's kind of cool. Look, it worked. It 100% worked. Consider automating this thing. Considerations complete. Now, in fairness, I think I can move this whole thing over a little bit and make it a slightly bit more compact. Because I think I could do this. If I ain't mistaken. Let's see if I'm right about this. I think that works, right? Ta-da! Cool. Cool. So let's make some funnels. What I think I need to do is put this in here, and then I can choose to make a funnel, or a tunnel, or a harvester, or a plow, or a portable storage interface, or utility pipe module. But I'm going to do funnel, because that's what I want right now. And in theory, I should also... Get a couple of chests. Perfect. I was hoping that would fit. Now if I put a funnel like that and a funnel like that, and then we did this, it's tight, but it works. Huh? We're out of andesite doohickeys, right? And then it'll stop until it gets them. That's nice. That's nice. How cool is that, huh? I like that. I very much like that. Okay, not too shabby. Not too shabby. That's pretty nifty, right? How do we feel about this? I think that's cool. Yeah, I just realized. I, I need to decide whether I'm going to use crafting stations or crafting tables. And there you go. Kinetic mechanisms. Fully automated. Not too bad. Not too bad. All right. Our first little bit of dire wire, uh, our first little bit of automation. It's not the worst, it's not the best. Uh, will there be more coming up? Absolutely. Uh, will it get better or worse? Time will tell. Probably worse. Uh, but I, I mean, that's not, not bad, right? I think that's pretty good. I do like that we're able to power so many things and automate it. Um, I think think if we wanted to we could speed some things up but remember speeding up equals more stress which is you know not ideal so we should just be a little bit patient for the moment but like this is automated now 
which is great. Right? That's kind of cool. I like that a lot. And these guys are just doing the thing, right? Like, that is automated. Look at all those kinetic mechanisms we've got already. That is cool. Now, granted, like, we are going to burn through, you know, you know what, like, nobody's business. Um, that, that, those andesite things. So we're going to need a lot more algae. So I think uh, one of the next tasks we should probably consider automating will be, uh, let's see. So you can come from what? You can wash sand into clay. There's a 25% chance. White sand will also do it, though. Uh, so will orange sand and black sand. They all have 100% chance, but regular sand is 25. Not terrible. Um, gravel, there's a chance for it, too, by the way. But we can, like, turn gravel into things. So there's going to be some stuff to make that we can automate clay and whatnot. And then we can use harvesters. Um, look at that. Perfect. And then you go right into there. And look at that little setup, huh? Boom, boom, boom. Are you not working redstone lever? Now you are. I wasn't sure if that would work from up there. I would imagine it should, right? Like, what's the difference? But apparently there's a difference. Cool. All right. Hey, looking good? I mean, it's a, it's a start, right? Clearly it's a start. And I'm feeling pretty good about it. For now, Dell 20 signing off. Hope you guys enjoyed the episode. I'm going to get more kelp uh, between episodes and also, um, you know, uh, 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 some more clay. And then next episode, we'll come back. We'll work on some more automations. And I really want to get into Tinker's Smeltery at some point and potentially um, making hammers so I can mine more efficiently. Because, you know me, one of my first and, and highest priorities is, is mining as quickly as possible, right? Like... I don't want to be mining all the time, so being able to do that quickly is kind of nice. All right, Daryl 20 sign off. Hope you enjoyed the episode. You know what to do. Take it easy.